Folks, I want to wish you a very happy Independence Day. I'm Sam Whitfield, the host of the Whitfield Analysis and the newly uh, appointed Vice President of Junior Factor Nation. And uh, like I said a second ago, I just want to take a moment to wish you all a very uh, happy 4th of July and a very happy Independence Day. Um, a couple of quick things I want to mention. Uh, two years ago, today, we established Junior Factor Nation. Junior Factor Nation was originally uh, established by uh, Jason Vili and Caden Cowger. Caden Cowger left Junior Factor Nation uh, today, and I stepped in officially as his uh, replacement vice president. So, um... I'm your new vice president, and I'm very thankful to Jason for the opportunity to uh, fill the role of vice president. It's it's an honor. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to wish you all a happy thanks, uh, a happy Fourth of July, and uh, a hap a happy Independence Day. This truly is the greatest nation in the history of the world, in the history of civilization. No other country has been able to achieve what we've achieved in just 230 some odd years. Which when you think about the long history of the world, when you think about the long history of the planet, how our civilization and our planet is billions and billions of years old. America is just a tiny speck on the blueprint of human history as we know it. Yet we've accomplished things greater in those 200 and 30 some odd years than most other civilizations saw in their entire lifetime. Now folks, I also want to take a moment to address something that uh, has been concern concerning me lately. I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I do want to address something that I'm seeing more and more these days, and that's this, that's this whole idea of, um, that's this whole idea coming from my generation that, that America, uh, is, is not as special, or they're just ordinary, or America is somehow bad. And folks, to those of you in the more known generation who feel that America isn't the best place in the world, I would ask you how much history you've read. I would ask you to read about our living conditions when we were still being under British rule prior to this country's founding in 1776. I would ask you to read about previous empires, the Egyptian Empire, the Roman Empire, the Chinese Empire, the British Empire, etc., etc. What we started in America by breaking free of the British rule and becoming independent. No one had ever done that before, ladies and gentlemen. No one had, had ever done that 
before. We're truly a unique people, ladies and gentlemen. And I would also ask those of you who have doubts about American exceptionalism to also look up the Middle East today. Is the Middle East as free as the U.S.? Are they as happy? The answer, well... You can decide for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, uh, let me speak to you from a personal point of view, though. Ladies and gentlemen, as most of you know by now, I, I have a certain physical disability which has made my life challenging, to say the least. I've had to struggle for everything I've accomplished, both physically and achievementally, in terms of my achievements, too. Folks, in most other countries, people like me wouldn't even be given the chance to live. In most societies, I wouldn't have even seen my first year. And I would have been lucky I would have been lucky to make my first year if certain governments certain socialist governments, I might add, had allowed me to stay alive. See, to some, to, see, to some other countries, folks, the disabled population is nothing but a burden. But in America... We're founded on the idea that anyone can become anything. We're founded on the idea that we have certain unalienable rights. That we have the right to life, liberty, property, and the pursuit of happiness. Now that last one, the pursuit of happiness... That means so many different things for so many people. For my case, it was getting into uh, commentary and political commentary. You know, back when I started my show, The Whitfield Analysis, uh, six and a half years ago, people said that I wouldn't be able to do it. I didn't have the voice for it at the time. I was too young. I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. The fact that I was handicapped, they didn't think I would physically able, be able to do it. But I pursued my dream. It wasn't perfect at first. But I've worked at it for six and a half, almost seven years now. And as of 2012, I have since been one of the highest rated talk show hosts in the conservative youth movement, along with my friend Jason Vealy, a friend, the f my friend, and the co-founder of Junior Fractor Nation. So to anyone who is having doubts about American exceptionalism, 
I would encourage you to take some time today to ask yourself why in life have you had the opportunities that you have had or why haven't you had the, had the opportunities you've wanted and folks there's one other thing that I want to f focus on real quick before I sign off here because like I said I don't want to take up too much of, of your time but understand that American exceptionalism folks does not equal American uh, perfection I recognize the fact as do many Americans that America isn't perfect. We have our flaws. And we have our things that we need to work on. But by and large, historically speaking, show me one other country that has made the strives for human freedom and human compassion and human rights and human exceptionalism in the idea of God-given rights. Show me another country that has uh, been a pioneer in that area. Because I can guarantee you that in terms of the idea of freedom in terms of the idea that men live under God and not under men, we are the only country, to my knowledge, that has the, this idea in our founding documents. So, as I said, I encourage you all to have a good time today. I encourage you all to celebrate, but I also encourage you to really dig deep within yourself and really focus on the true meaning of this day. We'll focus more on this topic tomorrow night on the field analysis, so tune in to my show tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Junior Factor Nation Radio Network. I'm Sam Whitfield, Vice President of Junior Factor Nation. And I want to wish all of you a very happy Independence Day from all of us here at Junior Factor Nation. God bless.